Hey, what's up guys? Theo here. In this video, we're going to build the random quote machine using React and Create React App. So I've already set up my Create React App here, and it's running on localhost 3000. Um, I'll show you this in my terminal right here. And then I've opened up the file structure here in Sublime. So let's go back and look at what we need to do to fulfill these user stories, right? So let's check these off as we go. So I can click a button to show me a random quote. So we're going to build a very simple UI right here. So let me bring this off to the side here and bring my editor over here. And I'm just going to go into the sides inside the uh, source folder. I'm not really organizing a whole bunch of stuff in here, um, but I'm just going to say just quote machine. I'm going to have it be its own component, .js. And let me bring this down a little bit for us. OK, so this is where we're going to write our code for the quote machine. And this is its own component. OK, so quote machine, uh, we need to do a few things. We're going to import uh, React and uh, component from React. All right. And then what I want to do is going to uh, fulfill this user story right here. So what I can do is I'm going to say class quote machine extends component, right? I'm going to export that as the default from this file quote machine. And what I want to do is obviously have this render method right here. Return. I'm just going to say div quote machine. And let's consume this in outside of our app. So I'm going to get rid of all of this right here. I'm going to place my quote machine. And I'm going to import it right here. Import quote machine from quote machine. I'll refresh this. And let's see. This should now give us. OK, now i got quote machine right here. Awesome. So what do we want quote machine to do? We want our quote machine to have a button right here. I'm actually going to import fragment as well. Okay, let me bring that back down for us. I'm going to import fragment so we can get rid of that. I'm going to say fragment, fragment, change this to be just a h1 of quote machine. All right, h1, quote machine. And then, so let this refresh. There we go, we've got quote machine there. Um, so what we need to do is consume uh, this endpoint right here because we want to be able to uh, get a random quote, right? So I can click a new button to show me a random quote. Uh, so let's create a button right here. <clears throat> and button, and what I want to do is give it a onClick handler. And we're going to say this.get random quote. And inside of here, we're just going to say, click me to get a random quote. Uh, let's now create, let's go back here. So click me to get a random quote. Let's open up the console, make sure we got everything firing. And I'm going to dock this back at the bottom here. This will be easier for us. All right, so what I can do, let me get rid of that warning. That's kind of annoying. And let me get rid of that. Make sure we got rid of all the warnings in there. All right, so click me to get a random quote. Uh, what I can actually do is index.css, app.css. Let's just gen zero auto everything. And why it's taking so long to add the gen. Let's refresh that. Origin zero auto, is it not picking up? Oh, did I take out the? Yeah, I took out the CSS, so let's bring that back in there. Uh, CSS. Let's refresh that. There we go. Got everything centered. And cool. Uh, what we want to do now is go back to Quote Machine and fire up this method. So we're going to say get random quote. Make this an anonymous function. And I'm just going to say console.log. Clicking. I'm going to take that out actually and just pass the event and now let's click this all right cool um, so what we need to do now is fetch from this endpoint 
So I'm going to actually, in this constructor, I'm going to declare this dot endpoint is going to be, let's say endpoint is going to be, what is it? This dot endpoint is going to be this. And I'm going to the HTTP on it. Cool. All right, so that's our endpoint. And let me do one more thing. I want to actually, this is not allowed for super sorry. Okay, because uh, I'm extending the component. And now, let's go ahead and log out what this is real quick. So this, see, this is the quote machine, and we have our endpoint set. All right, cool. Um, so I just don't want to have to redefine that every time we invoke this function. So, anyways. What we can do now is get our random quote, and what I can do is actually, I'm going to set some state here. So I'm going to say this dot state. Um, you don't have to set it in the constructor, but I'm just doing it because I'm adding on some more properties to this object at this point. So uh, I'm just going to say quote, and quote is basically, I guess quote can be, quote can just be an empty string right now for here. Um, and I can just say look at this dot state as well, or let me just take out the this. Okay, so we're gonna look at what state is. State is just empty quote, right? Cool. And so now let's go ahead and set this, right? So we're just gonna say, and we'll just say, um, say as quote, and we'll just say false for now. So, and then we can say here, we can, say, we can destructure const as quote, from the stuff state and down in here we can say as quote um, if it's basically we'd say if it's true then we'll show null otherwise we'll just say um, click me click button for quote or we'll just say no quote yet no quote yet let's make sure that's correct okay so no quote yet and let me actually just do a line break here all right, so no quote yet, um, but this will go away once we update this. So now I get random quote, right? What we can do is um, we're going to go out and fetch our quote. And so what we can say, we're going to use Axios. So I'm going to say fetch this dot endpoint. And then I'm going to call dot then. We're going to get back response. We're going to want to convert this response to JSON. That will return us another promise. And this is going to give us back some data. Let's just log out some data to the console. So let's try this out. Make sure this works. So here we go. And no header is present on the resource. Oh, let's see. So basically, that looks like that's a problem with. Let me try and run it one more time. Okay, yeah, so it needs to be HTTPS. But, anyways, so. It's probably only re receiving requests from secure uh, endpoints, secure resources. So anyways, here's the data we got back. So maybe we'll make this an object, actually. I'm going to say the structure of it. It's going to have uh, content, will be a string, and then link, be another string, and title, will be a string, just so we don't get um, reference errors here if we try to display these. So now we can just say, we can just check on a few properties, right? We can say if data.content and data.title, uh, else, right, we can say return console.error, um, no quote, has been found, 44. Otherwise, we need to update the state here. So we can say this dot set state, and we can set state, we can set, um, what I want to do is actually to structure quote, let quote equals this dot state, and then I can say quote dot content equals data dot content quote dot you can do it a few ways doesn't really matter data dot link and we're just gonna make sure it has all these properties data dot link only three properties not a big deal um, and we can say quote dot title equals data dot title and now we can just update um, we're gonna say update the quote and also I want to update uh, basically, I'll check right in here, and we just say if 
this.state.has quote. You can just check if it's false, then we'll set the state to um, has quote to true. All right, so this will change that. And let's run this again, no quote yet. We'll see that this will go away. And then what is the deal? Why is it this data.content and data. Let me log out what data is real quick, just to make sure I'm not crazy. All right, let's run this again. So data, oh, sorry, we need data zero. Okay, so say if data zero and data zero. Again, multiple ways you could do this. And then we'll say let quote data equals data zero, just so we don't have to keep referencing it. And then let's change this to quote data, quote data, quote data. All right, let's try this out again. All right, cool, so that went away. And now we just need to display our quote. Um, has quote true, then we want to display um, json.stringify. Uh, display the quote. Let's go ahead and do this. And now let's just look at what we're getting. What does it say? json.stringify. Oh, I think I don't need this. It trips you up with JSX sometimes. Okay, so now there's our JSON. Cool. Uh, so, what I can do, let me see if I can. Bring that down if it'll complain about me. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Okay. So what I want to do now is actually output, we'll just say um, this dot render quote, right? And then I'll create this method right here, render quote, render quote, and this will grab the code quote, balance quote, equals this dot state, and then we'll just return some JSX in here, div, we'll just say a h1, uh, h1, and actually let me destructure just the title, data, and link from this dot state dot quote, and inside of here we'll say title, and we'll say P tag for the data or for what is it? Content, sorry, content. And inside of here we'll just have an HR and then we'll wrap this actually in a href. So href is going to be link and we'll say target equals link. And let me close that off, render quote, make sure I got this right. All right, content is not defined. We gotta change that. All right, cool. So, um, quote is assigned a value but never used. Okay, and I think I can get rid of that now. Okay, cool, awesome. So let's run this. There we go. We got all of our stuff, and then kind of confused why that's. Why it's oh it's because it's I know what we can do we can do uh, forget the render what is it dangerously is it dangerously dangerously set inner HTML I don't know the exact method but we'll just what I can do here is do uh, let me see dangerously set inner HTML yeah, I don't want to mess with that really, but we can just, I don't want to look it up right now. We'll just do by content, and we'll look at it in there. Run this again, and there we go. It's a p tag coming back. And again, it's wrapped in this link that if we click here, we'll go and see the actual quote. Cool. Um, so that one's done, and now all I want to do is finally tweet this out. So I found this link which will share it, All right? So actually, I want to change this. Um, I want to take off the A tag and replace it with this. Um, so let me do that, and I will 
actually just um, take off this. I'll change this back to a div and a div, and I'll say on click equals this dot share on share on Twitter, and I can define this down here. Share on Twitter. All right, and I can have these. And I'm going to change these out to be a little bit more ES6 friendly, const URL. And this is going to be, again, we're going to destructure. And I'm going to actually just pass this, this dot share on Twitter. I'm going to make this an anonymous function. And this can, this dot share on Twitter, and we'll pass it the link. Actually, we'll just pass it this dot state dot quote. It's not a big deal. Or actually, we'll just pass it uh, the title and the link, and this expects the title and the link, and we'll say URL is link, whatever. Um, or maybe we'll just say URL. It's not a big deal. I know we're getting that back URL, and then that'll be the text. All right, and then we'll just say window dot open code URL text text. Okay, cool. So that's the share on Twitter, and now we should be almost done here, getting a random quote, and then let me change the style on here, actually real quick, on this div, what are we going to have here, we'll just give this a class name, class name equals quote result, and then I want to put in here dot quote result, and we'll say cursor pointer, Order two picks of red. All right. Let's run this one more time. And now we're getting a quote. There we go. If we click it, then we can see this pops up right here. So we're sharing this with our link and um, the title of it. So again, you can put the content in there as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video on how to build your free code camp quote, mach quote machine. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.